I think our energy could have been better. And, and if it was and we worked that little bit harder, I think we might have gotten a result. But in the end, uh, Princeton did. Princeton came, worked, and the game became a fight, and, and they got the better of it. And overtime, overtime was just a, a little bit of slack defending um, that got punished. And again, it's amazing that slack defending happens anywhere else in the field or any other time in the game might happen 25 other times. But to, when you get punished by a goal that is scored against you is when you actually look back and you really notice um, the specific you know, details of the game. The one thing I was disappointed was we lost our composure to play and, and, and we started being a little more direct and in turn it became a battle. It becomes a battle, it usually becomes chippy and when it becomes chippy it's anyone's game. And though I still like our chances because we're physically strong, uh, if, you, if we consider ourselves a better team then we have to make it a, a, a little bit more of a free-flowing game. It wasn't Andre's finest day. Um, but it certainly wasn't our best day behind him finding the ball. You know, it's a combination of the two, um, which led to a little bit of frustration for him. He was disappointed. At the same time, for me as a coach, you know, he does so much every game that you can't rely on him every game to win you. I really want to make the point to our boys. We, we have three definite games left in our season. At that point we had four. And you have to make the most of them. And in the end, you have to enjoy playing. And the only way you enjoy playing is if you put a true, you know, work right into the game. And if you do that, then if the result doesn't come, at least you can't look back and, and say, what if? Our five seniors will start every game the rest of the way, I would imagine, and, and those guys have to carry it. And it's their passion, and it's their last chance, and it's their hope.